Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alfonso Galante, and I'm the Head of Strategic Planning, M&A, and Investor Relations at Unipol Group. So I'm going to take you through our first nine months results, which are pretty much in line with our expectation and those of the market. The Unipol Group also recorded net consolidated profits of 439 million euros. We are more than holding our own and holding steady. Breaking things down, this is how it stacks. Non-life business net results are positive at 331 million euros. The life business net stands at 195 million euros. Other sectors posted negative results of 89 million euros, an improvement on this time last year. Consolidated net profit at Uniposai came in at 427 million euros. Group profit, net of minorities is 261 million euros at Unipol and 409 million euros at Uniposai. Unipol non-life income stands at 5,519 million euros, even so slightly down year on year we have seen strong growth of 3% in the non-motor business. 3% in the non-motor business, driven mainly by Unisalute. We are in a fiercely competitive market in terms of tariffs and margins, plus the prevailing macroeconomics have all eaten into motor premiums. Enough said. Combined ratio net of reinsurance at Unipol Group is 95, basically in line with our strategic plan. Drilling down on motor TPL, combined ratio comes in at 100.4%, pretty much as expected. Look, premiums are under attack and that's industry-wide. That said, we have increased our total portfolio by more than 2% in terms of number of clients, and again, this underscores that we are on track with our strategic plan. Clamps frequency is essentially flatlined year on year. Overall, an excellent performance from linear Unisalute and Dark Assicurazioni, a combined ratio of 85%, pretty good. So the total net result of these three companies come to 57 million euros, almost 20% up on this time last year. Looking at the group life insurance business, the tough operating environment makes it difficult to collect premiums from linked products. I want to point out that we have deliberately slowed down our income from Arca Vita and Popolare Vita is tailing off as well. The total amount of Unipol premiums is 5.5 billion euros and 3.9 billion euros for Unipol Sai. The results pretty much speak for themselves here. With a gap between the average segregated accounts yield 3.2% and minimum guarantee 1.6% remaining as they were this time last year. Turning now to the banking arm of the business, on a positive note, our net results at this juncture are more or less at break-even point. Lending is continually decreasing and stands at 8.6 billion euro. Again, we are holding our own. A few words now on NPE. For the last seven, seven quarters, we have seen a continual decrease in our NPE. In absolute terms, since the back end of 2015, we have shaved off around 130 million euro. That's the way. Our coverage is sound. The overall coverage ratio is 45.3% with respect to the total NPE and 57.7% relating to bad loans, so for instance. Right, the group's investment strategy is seen as slightly reducing our weightings in Italian govis. We have also invested in other European govis during the first nine months of the year. At the Unipol Group level, bonds represent 87.7% on the total 64.7 billion euro investments. The second component, 
was the real estate portfolio which weighed in at 6.5% of the total portfolio, whereas equity and funds and cash were only a residual part. Unipol's high asset allocation mirrors the strategy. Profitability from financial investments stands at high levels 3.6% on a total basis, life plus non-life, thanks to the positive yields from coupons relating to bonds still in the portfolio and the effects of a continued issue diversification. This was much less impacted by the realized gains than the same period in 2015. No major changes here since we last reported. Shareholders' equity at the Unipol level is 8.3 billion euros and 6.5 billion euros at Unipol SI. Solvency to ratio are as follows. On a Unipol level, the ratio stands at 1.37 times, while at Unipol SI consolidated level stands at 1.69 times. The solvency to ratio of Unipol SI solo is at 1.9 times. All in all, pretty solid results given prevailing market conditions and just to add again that we are only six months in to our strategic plan and we are well on track. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening. Let me remind you that our CEO and the senior management will be pleased to take any question from financial analysts and institutional investors during the conference call scheduled today at noon CT.